going to make a very simple rib stitch. We already have one, but this is a little bit different. And this is done with a multiple of 4 plus 2. So 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, four plus 1 for each edge. And uh, I'm using a size 10 knitting needles. And this is a size 4 yarn. This is cotton. And I'm using a 10 because I want it a little bit open. So, um, this is very nice for, like for a summer blouse or a scarf because it looks the same on both sides. So this is very nice. Okay, so what you want to do here is just make believe that I just cast it on my stitches. Like right there. And you're going to do knit one which is the edge one. And here's where the repeat starts. You knit one, slide one purlwise, and knit the next two stitches together through the back. And then yarn over. Let's repeat that again. You're going to knit one, slide one purlwise, knit the next two stitches together through the back. That means through the back. And then yarn over. Let's do that again. You knit one, slide one purlwise, knit the next two stitches together through the back, and yarn over. Again, knit one, slide one purlwise, knit the next two stitches through the back, and yarn over. Let's do that again. Knit one, slide the next two, the next stitch purlwise. Knit the next two stitches through the back and yarn over. And then the last one you knit. So that's it. That's all to it. And it, it's the same on both sides. Let's do this side also. So that's my edge stitch. That doesn't count. So from now you're going to knit one, slide one purlwise. Knit two stitches through the back and yarn over. Knit one, slide one purlwise, knit two stitches together through the back and yarn over. Again, knit one, slide one purlwise, knit the next two stitches through the back and yarn over. Knit one, Slide one purlwise, knit the next two stitches through the back, and yarn over. Again, knit one, slide one purlwise, knit the next two stitches through the back, and yarn over. And then knit the last one. And that's it. And see how pretty that looks? So gives it a very nice texture and of course you can use smaller needles if you want to but I'm using two larger size needles than what the yarn calls for just because I want it to look kind of open it's summer so this is what I would like to do thank you very much for watching and please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and thank you very much mm -hmm.